What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and Ark Survival Ascended is finally here on PC for Steam. Now, sadly, consoles are delayed till sometime in November. Hopefully, that's very early November, but time will tell and we'll see what happens there. So in this video, we're going to check out and see what things kind of look like with the Unreal 5 graphics improvements on the latest engine. I'll also run a benchmark to see how well this game does perform on my Ryzen 7950X and RTX 3090 GPU. So we're just going to start here and... Oh wow, so this menu is definitely different. Survival of the fittest, that is, that's like dinosaurs and Fortnite mixture. This is a wicked event here. They updated it just towards the end of the last one and it's a lot of fun, I love that. So I can't wait for that to come in, create game. Uh, mods list, so I guess create game, we can just run single player mode here, but we're gonna join a server here. Just kinda see what things are looking like and I did start one kinda on this one and I'm gonna tell you up front right now, it's looking pretty good, but we're just gonna start from scratch here. We're gonna join this session right here. See how long it does take to join. It took me a little bit of while. I saw on their updates that they had to already release a couple patches due to issues, which is expected when new games usually release. But what's going on here? It has taken actually quite some time. Okay, we are getting a lot of connection issues here, so maybe something's going on with the servers. Another patch coming. It says it's healthy, but obviously it's not looking like it is. So I'm going to go into a single player, I guess. Okay, so here we are, single player mode, and we got our character creation. They added quite a bit here. There's some body templates, as we can see here. You got a little scrawny, younger looking dude. You got the, the blob, I guess you could per se. Or you got your muscular guy. You know, I'm not one on this. I'm just going to name myself Rabbit and Go just to get into this stuff. Some people do spend hours trying to get things right. You can even change your voice and stuff here. Interesting. So we got all sorts of options, but we're just going to create this guy right now. Uh, looks like the spawning changed a little bit here. We can see that they actually added the colors and like raptor heads and dragon heads and stuff for easy, medium, and hard. So we're just going to go so zone three and just kind of see what things are looking like are down there. The nice and I've easy. We shouldn't die too fast. Let's just skip the intro there and see what the game is actually looking like. And okay. Wow. So right upon spawn, I can definitely see. The game looks millions of times better. This is way better, and I didn't even do anything yet. I just spawned, and I can see the world is looking absolutely amazing. So that's awesome. That's pretty sweet here. What's our graphics actually set at here? We're going to go to settings, uh, video, advanced, so custom, 31. Yeah, I believe I'm on 4K, epic, epic. Yeah, I got everything cranked up right now, so... We're all good on that aspect of things. So let's go into here. I'm expecting this to lag quite a bit because the original arc, it took a beast of a computer just to run it at full spec. So right now things, look at our shadows even looking pretty nice here. Little, little rough around the edges when we have movement there. Take a look at these dodos. Oh wow, button's still the same, yep. Yeah, wow, this is a nice, that's a baby. There's actually babies, look at that. Wow, okay, confirmed right off the get-go. Baby wild animals. There's juvenile dodos right here looking for mama's care. Come on, mama, feed it. And here's another one. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I am excited now. So that means we got baby raptors, baby rexes, everything out in the wild. This is opens up a whole new level of authenticity for this game. Look at the water, the water with the little ripples. They definitely, this definitely looks better on Unreal 5. You know, I think this is worth the wait. I'm, I'm very excited for this game. This looks pretty sweet. Wow. This is awesome. Look at these trees. What if we go in the water? What's it look like? Whoa. Okay. Um, I think we need some tweaking here. I don't know. That looks more like, looks like bubbles. Uh, maybe, you know, air it out. Let's kind of zoom out here. We can see here. Yeah, they definitely, it's... This looks way better. This is a huge improvement. Now, I did see some people saying it sucks and it's not that much of a graphical improvement. That is wrong. How can you not see a graphical improvement here? Again, unless maybe your PC can't really run it and you're run down right to low quality graphics. But we got everything cranked up and this thing is looking pretty darn amazing. So we got to see how many frames we're actually getting. But I'm just too excited to keep looking at stuff before we even do that. Here's the dialogue. Here, leave that poor Dodo alone. Come on. Oh, I don't have no weapon. That's got to switch. But usually we can escape these guys. They're level, yeah, level 6, level 18. You should be able to take them, right? Come on. Yeah, we knocked that one out. Eat that. You're going to run away now. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, it looks pretty rough when you die too. I look, I look like I got some kind of disease. But yeah, okay, that definitely looks awesome. So I'm going to put on our frames per second here and see, you know, just how well this game is running on the 7950X and the 3090. 
Okay, we also have a new little death symbol, which looks pretty neat here. We're going to respawn again and see what our frame rates and everything are looking like in the top left corner. So right now we can see the 3090 is hanging out about 58 degrees. It's at 98%, 99. So that's pretty good here. You know, as long as we're fully utilizing that, that's a good way to tell what's bottlenecking your PC also is if they're at 100% first, you know, that's your bottleneck. You need a better GPU and so on like that. If your CPU is getting maxed out, then your GPU is not fully being used and you can see that your CPU may be a bottleneck. So here we can see I'm hardly using any of my CPU. We're boosting up to about 5.5 gigahertz. That's not too shabby. Our GPU is hanging around 97, 96, 98. So we're not really fully utilizing everything yet and everything is running nice and smooth. So it is actually looking like the 3090 is doing pretty good with which um, I'm leading to believe that this may even be more optimized than the original arc, which is really hard for me to believe and say, but again, a lot more testing is going to be needed. What's that? Push R2. Oh, you can dismiss that. Okay. But yeah, this graphical interface is just looking amazing. We can see we're running pretty smooth. We're not getting too, too many frames though. We're maxing out 29, 30. We're definitely not in the 60 frame range or anything. So I'm actually, I'm gonna turn the graphics down just to see what that kind of looks like. So let's come into here, go into settings, video. I'll try medium mode. I'm gonna keep the same resolution. Uh, graphic presets here, we'll just go medium, save that. And hopefully we're good. Yeah, I believe so. Let's just see. Yeah, the, gra uh, the trees look a little more smoother. Like that one right there looked kind of weird. But yeah, we have more frames now for sure. So that did do something. We're still we're still not hitting 60. I don't know if we're supposed to be set to be doing 60. I'm not sure what all the defaults and everything are supposed to be. There is something here right here. Max frame rate 60. I'm just going to uncheck it, see what happens. I'm going to go right down to low mode. So let's just go low, save, go from there resume so yeah on low we're getting like 65 70 so that's not too bad the ground it's looking a lot worse looking a lot worse on lower settings it has a lot more still a lot more things going on in the world we're probably we're still actually a little better than previous arc but the lighting and everything you can definitely see unless a thunderstorm just rolled in but with no cloud effects no sun bloom or anything looks a lot darker and it'd probably put you into the great depression or something i don't know we'll see what happens but i gotta turn it back up because even though it only looked like we we're doing about 30 frames honestly i believe your eye only sees like 30 frames per second something in the first place but you know that's just for another discussion we're gonna save that crank it right back up again and see we got oh there's a rainstorm coming here so but yeah we're back down to 27 frames but it's not too too bad it is a little more choppier now that that rain is coming in you know i imagine in some of these dungeons maybe caves we got a drop over there that's too far away to check it out there's one over there but yeah things are looking pretty sweet there is definitely a lot more detail going on here somehow it looks worse now from after i put it to load it actually save even though our frames did drop here video epic epic yeah it's all an epic adjust brightness hdr we could do some tweaking there but we're just doing a basic test here but we are running around 27 to 30 frames per second here maxed out in 4k this is also 4k keep in mind imagine if i only went like 1080 or 1440 we would be looking a lot better here and running a lot smoother but i do want to see maximum settings 4k mode and it's looking not too bad you know it's not too too choppy or nothing else. let me know down in the comment section what you think about arc survival ascendant so far what you think about these graphics what type of pc are you trying to run this game on so yeah let me know down below hit that subscribe button i'll see you all in the next one rabbit out